We'll get the picture in a minute. Okay. Why don't we just have you explain sure. a little bit about what Chat. you asked us to support. I'd love to do that. I'd love to tell you, for those who don't know, just a little bit yeah. more about what 826 Sorry. Michigan is. Um, we're writing a tutoring center for school-age students. We serve uh, right around 2,500 students every year. Um, and many of them come here and sit at these tables and do their homework or do writing projects with us. Um, but actually, many more um, are served out in the community. So we have a huge program where we spend about 26, 27 hours a week in under-resourced public school classrooms doing stuff that teachers need. Lots of it is focused on writing and literacy, but we do other things too. Sometimes a teacher needs photocopies and she needs things graded and she needs other things, and we'll do that too, um, even though most of what we do is one-on-one. -on -one. Um, in addition to that, writing workshops happen here. Um, at all the Ypsilanti District Library branches in the evenings um, and other places in the community. We do field trips where we bring a whole second grade usually in for the morning for a couple of hours to do writing and publishing. <coughs> and we do, um, notably, uh, tutoring. We're known for that. Um, that happens here in this room four days a week in the afternoons. And it also happens at Ypsilanti Middle School. <coughs> this is the one that we... Um, Got my book here that we asked for support for. Um, so this is what we did last year at Ypsilanti Middle School. We went every day and we worked with students um, on their homework and <coughs> after homework there was some writing time. And what they produced is this super beautiful book. Uh, we had an illustrator who actually designed the book um, illustrate portraits of each student. And what's really great and also really kind of sad about this book is there are uh, 57 students in this book. Um, I don't think any of them have ever been in this room. Um, they, it is not common for uh, lots of folks in Ypsilanti to make it here, even though it's a short drive and we get our tutors there day after day. Um, but what we really wanted to do is ha run the program again this year, same homework help, same writing and tutoring, but have some opportunities, not just for family nights um, at the school, which we're going to start um, in November, actually, but we'll also have four different times where those students can come here. And we... Obviously, I work here, I love it here, um, but we think that there is something a little bit magical about coming in through the robot store um, and hearing that robot say five to 20 digits and, you know, sort of having your expectations thrown off a little bit. Um, and we, we think we can do some great stuff by bringing the students here. So that's our plan, and we're so grateful. Thank you so much for making this happen. It's one of those things that has long been something we wanted to kind of solve, but there just hasn't been funding for that extra little bit of transportation. So this is great. Thank you. Well, we're thrilled. I did a semester of tutoring at Ipsy Middle School, and I can vouch at how special the kids are, how amazing this program is in terms of its training of volunteers, and how necessary it is to help the kids who can't get here <coughs> have a way here. It's yeah. really magical here, and they <coughs> they deserve this as well as our local kids. And, and we're also um, impressed and thrilled that Amanda was featured at TED in Detroit this oh, week. Okay. They awesome. honored her, and um, and she made a big announcement there. It was awesome. You want to I share? I do this so myself, to use yeah. your word, of the Austin Foundation. Um, yeah, I got to take part in TEDx Detroit on Friday, and we announced um, the great news that the DTE Energy Foundation has funded us to launch our programs in Detroit. Oh, so we have basically cool. a five-year plan oh, oh, yeah. um, to go. Uh, sort of double what we're doing. Right now we serve 2,500 students. We're focused in this building and in Washtenaw County Schools. And we'd like to, in five years, serve about 5,000 students, half of them here, half of them in Detroit, um, and eventually have a space there. But we're going to start by hiring a Detroiter to recruit volunteers in the city in January. And then we'll start our in-school program and take it from there. Very nice. So great. Jeff, since you're on the board of 826, yes.